Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back, Force here, and today I'll be showing you some gameplay from early on in Lost Planet 3. I've probably gone through about, I want to see 20 or 30 minutes of just the intro tutorial, setting up the story and the world and everything like that. Uh, a quick summary is basically, you play as Jim Payton, I am on this ice planet, and the goal is I'm here to basically uh, mine for resources. Uh, unfortunately, the planet is also infested with Acrid, and uh, we crash landed, and then we were rescued, and now I'm actually going out to search for someone who is hey, lost. Uh, hi. So I'm just gonna decide that it's not weird to be having a one-way conversation with you. Not weird at all. Yeah. Uh, oh, hey, I thought you might need some music up there to keep you sane, keep you thinking of home, so well, there's a playlist for me attached to this message. Hopefully it all magically works and you can play it as soon as your rig's up and running. Okay, that's it for now. Just let me know you got there at one piece, okay? See you already. Oh, that's a lovely message from my wife. Is the music gonna start playing? I have no idea. I do know that we're entering the fuel depot as much. So yeah, uh, I, I just wanted to show you guys a bit of gameplay from early on here in Lost Planet 3. Uh, unfortunately, this game has been reviewing pretty poorly, which makes me sad, because I was really quite looking forward to it. Because we could just crash through this stuff, huh? That's fine. Oh, that doesn't look good. Yes. Follow the trail. Some broken machinery, huh? I I'm assuming we're either going to find oh, this guy Peyton, you still read me? ripped in half, or... Well, I found his rig back at... Let's see, White Canyon Junction? Looks pretty beat up, but no trace of the man himself. Thanks for the update. Just keep looking. Okay. Out. So this is our rig that we uh, drive around in or walk around in, I guess would be more proper. And uh, this is what we'd be using to get resources from the environment. But right now, oh boy, we want to make sure we don't fall off. <laughs> right now, we're going to try to find our friend LaRoche. He's a French fella. He got himself lost. Hello? 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 LaRoche? 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 You out here? You out here? You out here? There's a lot of echo. Uh-oh. Over, Over here! Where is he? Just down here. Can I just jump down? There we go. I'm coming, buddy. No worry. All right. So it looks like he's uh, stationed up in this. What's going on? C'est des conneries. I had that crab out of its shell and ready to dip in butter. Then one foot slips over the ledge and my whole rig is on her back. Did you see what he did to her? Nothing that can't be fixed. You're lucky you got out with all your limbs. Ah, keep your perspective to yourself, rookie. <laughs> Fight a few giant crab monsters of your own, then speak to me of luck. Fair enough. Guess we're even. And this is the giant crab thing, I assume. It wasn't too giant, but it looks pretty darn angry. The heck is this? I played the first Lost Planet. I did not play the second one. Um, do I have a dodge? Yes, I do. Okay, so I need to be aiming for his little weak spot there. I guess it'll be easier for LaRoche to do that. Oh, slow-mo. Nice. Good. Good for you. And then we can get his weak spot. So that's... I mean, that's basically this game, you know? You dodge, uh... You dodge incoming attacks, and you shoot the weak spots. Uh, he's not gonna do that yet. Okay, you coming? You doing a charge? That guy's just running straight at me or whatever. And the other guy, is he charging yet? No, not yet. He will be in a moment. Uh, so a couple of things. Uh, we've got obviously basic UI elements, lower right. We've got any ammunition, weapons that you have, things of that nature. You can throw a grenade after he's dead is usually not the best time, but you know, whenever. <laughs> actual, this is Peyton. I found your Frenchman. He's at a fueling depot near Watkins Pass. Oh, that's a relief. Sending out a rescue team now. Good work, Peyton. You should find your account credited with a search and rescue bonus. Uh, hold on. Peyton, you say you're near Watkins Pass? Your predecessor, Diaz, set up a thermal post nearby. It's been sitting full, wasting tea energy since she disappeared. Locate the post and tap it before you return. Just be careful. Acrid like to nest around untended thermal posts. Good luck. 
Okay, sounds good to me. Where is it? Why is it telling me to go right here? Ah, down over here. Okay. Okay, that was just bringing me from checkpoint to checkpoint. I do wonder what's in that vicinity, but I guess since the checkpoint is pointing me down here, this is the direction I move. I must say the run animation in this game is pretty atrocious. That just just looks really bad. I don't know if he's supposed to be running like he has a limp. There was no indication prior to this that he's been injured, so I'm not entirely sure. And we did just pick up a frag grenade from there. Also, text logs, which are nice. I suppose I'll pick that up. Awesome. Collected a text log. Okay, so let's go and try to find our next objective. In fact, we can hit backspace here just to take a look at what we've got going on. Those are our collectibles. Uh, back over here, here's our mission. We must head to the ice cave. Uh, the T-Energy post should be in the nearby cave. And T-Energy is thermal energy, essentially. And that's basically what this gameplay revolves around. If you have never played Lost Planet before, the concept is you're on this, this frozen planet. And in order to stay alive, the energy that you, you get is T-Energy, and you pick that up from killing enemy monsters. And that's essentially what you do. You run around killing enemy monsters, picking up their T-Energy, so you can continue to sustain yourself. It doesn't appear to be counting down or anything where I am at the moment in the cave. It looks like it's staying pretty steady, so maybe it's just above ground where you have to worry about that. I mean, honestly, I'm not entirely positive if this is if that's a mechanic that's carried over. This is not, by the way, like an in-depth overview of the game. This is just meant to show you early gameplay, because there's barely been any gameplay for me up until this point. Uh, basically just introductory stuff, like a basic tutorial and setting up the story. I will be doing follow-up videos, though, once I'm more fully aware of uh, everything that's going on in this game. I just wanted to get you guys some gameplay out sooner than later. Uh, because the reviews have been so bad for this game, I figured it'd be worth showing you guys uh, quickly, at least how the game plays. What is this thing? Oh, throw a grenade at it. It looks like a spawning pit or something. That is disgusting. Are all those guys chilling out here? Or did they all just run away? Looks like they kind of ran away, huh? Also, the HUD, um, you'll notice I don't have a HUD right now, where I'm currently located. Uh, they do an interesting thing where you need to be, like, nearby. You need to be nearby to, I think it's either your rig or some sort of special transmitter in order to actually have your heads-up display available. So, like, in, in the current location that I am, it's not that the game's bugged right now. It's intentionally there is no... These things are so weird, huh? It's intentional that there is no heads-up display, you know? So, it's, it's, I think it's kind of cool, you know? You lose your mini-map and you lose all that... All that kind of information as you move further away from uh, the transmission source and uh, you know it, it is good I'm not wearing some crazy mask or helmet that would make sense that I'd have a constant heads-up display so it kind of makes sense that they're doing it this way I know some games just throw it in there and have no in in-game reason as to why a heads-up display exists at least this one they're trying to provide rationale behind it of course, they could always just get a better transmitter so that I would have it everywhere, but you know. <laughs> just build a better transmitter. What's the problem? Hmm? All right. So the setup for the story was uh, at the very start, it was actually 50 years in the future. You see this guy as an older gentleman, and he's in a collapsing cave with his granddaughter, and they, they, they uh, basically say... They basically imply that you're going to die, and then he wants to tell his granddaughter, you want to tell your granddaughter the story of, like, your life or where things went wrong, basically. And then it kicks right into the present, and then you come to this ice planet uh, for the sake of work. I think this is going to go poorly. You come to the ice planet, this... Oh, no! Okay. I didn't... All right, all right, calm down. I'm trying to stay away. That's not doing so hot of a job. Oh, my lord! Jeez, what the... Ouch! Can I go safely pick that thing up now? I mean, it seems like everything in this entire room just exploded. Oh, that's just ammunition. God damn it. <laughs> uh, that is terrible. More of them too, huh? I don't know if there's a crouch. Maybe if I just run through? Oh, that's 
that's not really working. So well, there's the transmitter. That grenade did not land where I wanted it to. That one did. Ah, uh, that's what I was supposed to do. I don't think I can avoid those things. I don't think... Yeah. I don't think I could stop those things from blowing up. I just have to shoot them before I get close to them. Well, that makes sense. It's a real bummer now, too, not having my... Ah, I'm all out of grenades. That is, a uh, Especially a bummer. That's really not too exciting. I wonder if these things work like explosive barrels and that if I blow them up next to an enemy, they get damaged. Or die, even. That'd be nice, huh? I think these things are just gonna keep coming, so let me go to the transmitter here. Oh, no. Take care of business. Blow these things up before I get in there. I have learned my lesson. Now I've got to extract here with T, which I'm assuming is going to take some time. Okay, I should I should get it. I should get it. That thing's not going to attack. Oh damn it! Let me wait till he regurgitates his next one. I'll kill that and then stop it. No, not gonna be quick enough. I got it. Yes. Glorious. And then I've got whatever this is. Stupid things. Oh, there's an audio log. That's interesting. I suppose. This stuff is pretty nasty. I must say. And more of these guys. Alright, we gotta get back to our rig. things go too far south here. There we go. Feel a little bit safer out here in the open. I don't know if that's justify justifiable or not, but it's the general sense that I get, you know. Well, I've liked the environment so far. Um I mean, the gameplay seems all right, you know. Shooting's fine. But it's still very early on, so definitely not about to pass judgment on the game, despite all the poor reviews that it's gotten up to this point. I'm going to put some more time into it, and we'll be following up with uh, probably at least one more video. I'll, I mean, I'll do like a checkout once I'm fully aware of, you know, everything that I'd like to explain about the game. But... I guess that'll wrap up for this video. Just wanted to show you again some early on gameplay. Uh, show you some sort of combat, some fighting in action. And uh, we got a good chance to see that. So there you go. That's going to do it here. Uh, thank you guys so much for joining me. Taking a look at some early gameplay here in Lost Planet 3. More coverage coming up throughout the course of this week. Again, at least one more video in the form of a checkout. Which will be fully informative and also provide you with my initial impressions. All right, thanks guys so much for watching. If you like the content, please subscribe. Where is he going? Keep watching mayday, mayday, mayday. and keep owning. Titan, this is Coronas Actual, requesting immediate assistance. Are you there? Copy. Uh, Coronas Actual. Yeah, this is Peyton. I copy. What's going on? Peyton, get back to base ASAP. Emperor Glass Storm bearing down on us from Blind Sector North Northwest. ETA three minutes. We need you to secure the base moorings with your rig. We haven't had time to reinforce them since that last damn storm. You copy, Jim? Hightail it here or there won't be a base to come back to. Roger that, boss. Flying in. Peyton out.